Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I will be explaining 6.2 linear equations in two variables. Let's get to it. Self-practice 6.2a. Explain whether the following equations are linear equations in two variables. H minus 7k equals to 6. Yes, because there are two variables which are h and k and the highest power is 1. Next, 3m plus 5 equals to 9m minus 1. In this equation, there is only one variable, so it is not a linear equation in two variables. Next, 2x over 3 minus 8 equals 4y. Yes. Yes, because there are two variables, which are x and y, and the highest power is 1. For the next one, let's expand the brackets first. We get p squared plus 3p equals to 2q. It is not a linear equation since the highest power is 2. Moving on to self-practice 6.2b. Form a linear equation in two variables for each of the following. In a long jump event, the total points obtained by Satria team and Perdana team were 258. So here we have the total is a sum of Satria plus Perdana. Let's represent that respectively with T, S and P. Here we have 258 equals to S and P. When writing an equation, make sure to put the variable in front. This should be written as S plus P equals to 258. The difference between the largest angle and the smallest angle in a triangle is 15 degrees. Difference can be symbolized by the minus sign. So largest minus smallest is 15. Let's represent that respectively with L and S equals to 15. Next, the total price of tickets for a water theme park for 8 adults and 5 children is RM265. The sum of 8 adults and 5 children is 265. So represent that with A and C respectively. Here we have 8A plus 5C equals to 265. And lastly, the total marks for a test paper which consists of section A and section B is 40. So here we have the total is a sum of section A and section B. Total is 40 equals to A plus B. Each correct answer in section A and section B contributes one mark and two marks respectively. So this means that B is multiplied by two. That gives us 40 equals to A plus two B. So rearranging this gives us two B plus A equals to 40. Next, self-practice 6.2c. Write three possible pairs of solutions for the following equations. x minus y equals to 7. So let's try out the possibilities here. If y equals to 0, x minus 0 equals to 7, which means x equals to 7. If y equals to 1, x minus 1 equals to 7 which means x equals to 8. And if y equals to 2, x minus 2 equals to 7, which means x equals to 9. The possibilities here are 7 and 0, 8 and 1, and 9 and 2. Next, y equals to 1 minus 2x. If x equals to 0, y equals to 1 minus 2, times 0, y equals to 1. If x equals to 1, y equals to 1 minus 2 times 1. So here we have y equals to negative 1. If x equals to 2, y equals to 1 minus 2 times 2. So y equals to negative 3. So the possibilities here are 0 and 1, 1 and negative 1, 2 and negative 3. 
Next for C, we have 3x minus y over 2 equals to 6. If x equals to 1, let's sub that in to find the value of y. Here we have, here we get the value of y at negative 6. If x equals to 2, we can sub that in and find the value of y. And here we get the value of y at 0. So if x equals to 3, we get the value of y again, which is at 6. The possibilities here are 1 and negative 6, 2 and 0, 3 and 6. Moving on to number 2. On sports day, Sunny won 4 medals, all of which were gold and bronze medals. How many gold and bronze medals did Sunny possibly win? Let's list down the possibilities. Here we have 3 gold plus 1 bronze, 2 gold plus 2 bronze, and 1 gold plus 3 bronze. Self-practice 6.2D. Which of the following diagram represents graphically a linear equation in two variables? So graphically represented linear equations should form a straight line. In these diagrams here, the only ones that are representing a linear equation are diagrams A and C. That's all guys. Thank you for watching Bell Explains. See you in our next video. Bye!